Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, 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 For those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders. Uh, the title of this video is uh, Currency Trading Education Part 6. If you have not watched uh, Part 1 to 5, you may do so before watching uh, this video. Uh, this is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TST traders. All right, let's get started. Three things are important in trading, and all our traders know about it. The setup, the signal, and the entry point. Apart from uh, these three things, the first thing that we must check is the market pattern. Is it a rising channel? Is it a declining channel? Is it a okay, horizontal channel? The market pattern first before we align the setup or the signal with okay, the market patterns. There are three market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel. This is about the market profile. Very, very important. All right. Also, I said to you already that it's not all about technical, it's about combining the technical and fundamental. So when we see, okay, we align the signal, we align the, okay, the setup with the market pattern, and we want to enter the trade, what do we need to do? We need to do our fundamental verifications. So we don't end up buying and hold a stock that is uh, going to administration or a stock that is going to go bankrupt. Or you, you, want, you don't want to, okay, Trade against the Fed, trade against the central bank, or a very important economy news due in two or three days or next month, and you are not aware of it, and you place a train only to realize later on that you shouldn't have uh, made that train, and uh, you were not aware of uh, the economy news. Very important. So the first thing, three things I want to discuss: the setup, the signal, and the entry point. When we are talking about the setup, the signal, and the entry point, we must start with the market patterns. Very important. I'm now on the quarterly chart of the Euro USD, the Euro Pound currency pair, talking about uh, currency trading education. This is a currency pair that is positively correlated to the Euro USD, but sometimes it can go in the opposite direction. So we see, I join this point. In fact, what I will do, I will highlight it for you so you can see it. So the high of uh, this uh, quarterly candle here. One second, please. I'll get there soon. The high of... Uh, that's not where I want to put it here. That's it. In fact, I want it to be on top like this. Wow. Okay. Well, not bad. Okay, the high of this tall candle here. I'm joining it to the high of this candle here. So I'm going to put another spotlight there. So just two point I need. Okay to draw, I'm talking about this candle here, this one here, and this one, okay? So with these two points, I can draw my green line right here. So the slope of the trend line is telling me that it's bearish. Do not disregard it. So if the price truly bearish, the price might display lower lows, lower high, until the price fails to display a new lower low. So right here, I will choose this point here and make it parallel to the green one. It's not easy for me to draw it, uh, because I don't have enough room to draw it properly, so I just draw the, the, it like this. It's not perfect, okay? Good. So just sit and leave it like that, or I can extend it a bit, all right, to make it parallel to it. I want you to get the idea, okay? That's it. Are you happy? Good. So that's it. I think it's better like this. So the key point is that because it's a declining channel. The zone where the bear will be making their decision is the top one here. If he was bullish, they will be making their decision below here. As the price going down, you can see that there was a low here. That was the first low. Price did below that low and return above it. So price display a lower low, but return back above it again. It's bullish. Trader took it and pushed it to the edge. This is a hot spot of the zone. The bear, you see, first time it came here, trader was challenging it. This is a setup prior returning to the bearish trailer. 
Aggressive trader will place a trade to sell straight away. Patient traders will wait for a signal and manage the trade. Because around this zone, you see what's happening? Some traders already, this is the problem. Where there are orders, that's where the price will go. Remember. Where there are orders, that's where the price will go. This is true for those who are trading stocks. So computers can read nowhere are the orders. So people will place orders here to sell. All right. These orders need to be filled. So the price go there, these orders are filled. You see what it did? Okay. And then came back down. And then, okay, you see? And then now return back again the up. So orders they were placed here to sell. The price will try to fill those orders. <laughs> this was in this market. So anytime you are trading, try to, to understand what is taking place. Where are the orders? Okay. And there is another group of traders. They are what are called the dangerous traders. So they know orders here to sell. Sometimes they will come and buy, blowing the stop loss of these people and take them out. That's why I say to traders to have also, okay, a stock portfolio, a real portfolio that you are managing instead of using only swing trading account and day trading account, okay? You see? Here. So prior came here, we know that bears are here. We are watching this level to look for opportunity to sell because the sentiment, the direction of the trailer is telling us the sentiment is bearish. If the price below this is bearish. You see the first time we came here, I want to draw another line here, horizontal line, to the top of uh, uh, this candle here. And uh, what I will do, I will color it into red. Pay attention. There is another setup. So the first setup I was discussing, remember we talked about the setup, the signal, the entry point. Do not be only technical trader. Combine the technical and fundamental. Pay attention to the economy news. So the first setup that we are looking at, this candle here on the quarterly chart, this one. Okay, I'm going to go now to the daily chart. We're going to watch the green line, this setup here, the first one here. And then we'll come back to the red one. On the daily chart. So the first thing that a trader is looking for, either swing trader using the TSCWSY008 or day trader using the TSCW24 or the TSCCI Pro, he or she is looking for a setup. A setup that is aligning with the market pattern. If the setup is not aligned with the market pattern, be cautious, very, very cautious. Do not buy below a resistance or right below a resistance level. Allow the price to go above it to find a support before you buy. The inverse also is true. You don't want to sell into support level. Allow the price to dip below the support level to retest and to receive a clear cut signal too. It's not easy. Sometimes when you are trading live, people are agitated, losing trade are happening, the emotion are boiling, okay? And all sorts of things going on and people end up making the wrong decision. But it makes sense, traders understand. They say, George, understand, George, understand. What the, what are you talking about, all right? All right, but, so you see this our green line that we have drawn on a quarterly chart. So prior coming near this whole sport trading zone, we are watching it. So we are just patient analyzing the high, the low around this level. So there was a high, and then we have a higher high. Instead of having uh, a new higher high, we have a lower high here. All right. So it's telling us there's a kind of weakness taking place here. So we can now join these two lines like this. It's a trailer again. So it's telling us that the bullish momentum is weakening as we are approaching a bearing zone. All right. We are conservative traders. We don't want to be aggressive traders. We do. So a traders that are using uh, their trading tool, drawing their channel, now it's come out. But there was first this one. Do you see this one? This point and this point. It went below it and was desperate to retest it. That's what's happened here on the edge. Right here. Low risk point. You play the stop level this one, hold it down. You see, so far, though the stochastics here, I did not talk about stochastic. In fact, there is a stochastic pattern on this chart. There are 13 specific stochastic patterns. The reason why we give it to TSTW, SYZ, UA traders, so they may know the setup. They set up. Find first a setup. Don't look for the signal first. Find first the setup. Now, check whether the setup align with the market pattern. Check the higher time frame. All right? And do not ignore the economy news. It's not easy. All right? It's uh, kind of out. 
practice, practice, okay, you will make you better, okay? So here, this is the setup on it. You see the green line? Alright. Now we have a, a lower high. This is again. So today we are on the edge again for this uh, blue line here. So this is today, today uh Okay, 14 of uh, forest, still 18, uh, this is 19 minutes past 6 in London, I hope you can see the time, pay attention, if you can't see the writing below the clock, check the clock itself, okay, alright, 14 of May 2013, so it's again on the edge, you see, so day traders will be watching uh, uh, this uh, thing, but this is a Euro USD, talking about forest trading education, you want to align this with the Euro USD, if the Euro is giving bullish signal, I will not be interested in this one, alright, so this is about a setup, a setup, and then we see a bearish pattern uh, around the setup, right? informing that, uh, okay, the bullish momentum is weakening, break below, retest, that's it. The setup is the first thing. The second thing is the signal. The signal, one can use uh, a trend like that and be broken and retest it, and then wait for signal, okay? And select a low risk entry point. This is an excellent low risk entry point because you can place your stop loss, okay? Using the Bollinger Band also is very good to allow you to sell on the edge of upper Bollinger Band instead of selling within the Bollinger Band, okay? Especially on the hourly chart, daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, and the higher time frames, okay? If you receive, if you see excellent set down, excellent signal, but the risk is too high, run away from it. Before I was saying to traders to stay away, now I say to them, run away from it. All right, you don't have to take it if the risk is too high. If this is in the middle of the Bollinger Band, okay, you can take it in the median line of the Bollinger Band and uh, watch it carefully. But you would prefer it to be at least on the edge of the upper band if you want to sell, or on the edge of lower Bollinger Band if you want to buy, and uh, or uh, if you draw the channel, if you want to buy, you want to buy the lower part of the channel and uh, sell on the upper side. If the channel is declining, you give priority to sell signal on the upper side. If the channel is rising, you give priority to buy signal on the lower part, okay? So the first thing that we are looking for, if we see, sometimes I see to traders, or sometimes traders by chasing of 24, they say, oh, is that all? That's all. Follow this step. The, the setup first, and then go to the first best time frame, that's the 24 okay, and follow the rules, the setup. So here today, you see it's coming here, touch it here. Let's go now to my favorite time frame, three minute chart. Okay, I'm waiting for my chart to come back. Okay, so I will. I want to see what has happened because it's now on the edge on the daily chart. You want to pay attention to the Euro USD. If the Euro USD is going up, it may affect this uh, Euro GBP, unless uh, a lot of hedging activity is taking place here. It's taking a bit too long for my <laughs> three minute chart to load. I will change time frame and see whether I'll have it back quickly. Uh, if I don't get it back, uh, oh, I lost my data. Okay, traders, I have uh, lost my uh, internet connection. It's back now. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So I'll go back again. You see now? So this is today. So we on the edge. You can see now I'm on a 15 minute chart. You can see that the price display on a 15 minute chart is uh, okay, high, almost equal high, and then a higher high. Now it's coming back below the previous high. The previous high is psychological price level. You see some traders are selling it now. Okay, it's up to them, but you want to align it with uh, the Euro USD, okay, so that you don't, you will see sometimes this currency pair will be going down, and the Euro USD will be going up, will be selling only to see it come back up big time, all right, but the key point I want you to remember this video is the setup, is the first thing that we are looking for, and on this daily chart, the price on the edge here, so those who are selling were not too bad, if they sell a low risk point, okay, they may grab some pips, before the primary change direction or not. There is a double bottom here. If you see it, it went down, there was a low, equal low before it's coming here. So it's not very, very interesting. That's what I said to you, look on your left hand side. Though you're retesting it, it didn't display a lower low before retesting it. It, equal, it display equal low. So if you are taking this one, you need to be very careful. This is about the language of the price, paying attention to the price. If it's truly bearish, this low here should be lower than this one. But it's equal before it's retesting it. So if you are, for instance, switching time frame before you take it, you need to be very careful.
to. This is about the green line. The next setup, I will remove my green spot on this chart. Okay. Now we're going to look for a second setup. And this is the red line. I'll go back again. I'll remove uh, my blue lines here also. I'll go back again to the quarterly chart. And uh, we were here, as I show you. And I was talking about, so the first candle we deal with it is the green line. Now pay attention to this one here. Why people saw it here? This was a, a beautiful setup. What I say to traders, whenever we see a tall candle, what do we do? There was a tall candle here, can you see? This is a very tall candle. We highlight a low. Do not forget this thing. And we highlight also the high. And then we will highlight the media line, which is somewhere here. Near this, uh, you see, which I stated here, you see, it's a media line of the tall candle. That's where traders challenge the price. And also, this is a convergent point because the green line was crossing the media line. So this zone was a bit saturated by bear that were waiting for the price to come to retest the media line, the blue line, and also near the, the bearish green line. Boom, it went down a bit. Yes or no? It went down a bit before the price recovered. Okay? Alright? It went down, you see? So this is the setup. Anytime you are trading, swing trading, day trading, scalping, or whatever you are doing, you must find on a higher time frame a value setup. For all the bearish signal, you must first find on a higher time frame a bearish setup that align with the market pattern. For all bullish trade, you must find a bullish setup that align with the market pattern. If you use the TSCW24 or the TSCWSY is using your aid with these kind of uh, rules, you are likely to make okay better decisions. I hope you have enjoyed this video also. So you see the setup, you see the signal. Now you must find a low risk entry point. The time frame for the setup should be different for the time frame of the signal. The time frame of the signal should be different for the time frame of the entry point. This is about top-down trading method. Okay, talking about uh, currency trading education, we are teaching traders how they can make excellent uh, trading decisions when they are trading the currencies. Thank you for watching, and I will really speak to you uh, very soon. We are the TSTW uh, traders. Speak to you soon.